All right, good morning, people. You already know who it is. Oh, man, love is coming at you another day, another stream. Good morning. Happy hump day. Happy podcast day. We're going to be talking a lot about Ahsoka today, Star Wars, and anything from there. All right, guys, we're going to get this started because we're running a little late, but we're going to jump into it. And let's get my special guest in here, all right? Big Glue the Geek. What's up, my boy? <clears throat> How's everything going, my boy? Good, doing good. What'd you think I'm... about yesterday? I was like, I go, my, my, my little excitement, little fangirl, like, you know, <laughs> bullshit. <I'm good. laughs> you know what? You, you know, know what crazy? I mean? You know what's crazy? All right. <clears throat> I did not. I did not know that Morgan was actually uh, uh, a a night sister. A night sister. Did not pay attention. Well, it, it, they didn't. Ne- they did not mention that at all in in Mandalorian. But the way that she was dressed, should have gave. It well, away. the way she was dressed and the way she was fighting was completely different. So, it looked like she belonged in that world that she was in that she was trying to rule or whatever. It ain't. They didn't mention that one time that she was a night sister until this episode where um you know she actually unlocked the the night sisters um star map that was pretty cool the the symbol on her head wasn't it there before who you watched morgan isn't isn't the symbol on her head also in the mandalorian i don't know i didn't i didn't recognize that to be honest you know the fight scene the fight scene with her and ahsoka was fire in that in that mandalorian series so I it didn't really I didn't really get that nice sister. She didn't use any of her powers or nothing, you know. Nice sisters always use something. So that was actually pretty cool. That's a good twist that they add they added into that. Yeah, that was that was good. Now, it was only one thing that kind of disappointed me. Um, I wish what? Yeah, it was one thing, one thing. Right? Don't kill me. No, no, no not you, not you. It's abomination, the, bro. It, I the, how it hit me. The fighting, the fighting scenes were great i'm not gonna lie they were great but i really thought it was gonna be like next level fast as shit you know what i mean like you remember that scene where um and i think it was episode two remember was, I was, was it episode two no episode three when yoda faces off with uh with palpatine yeah, but say, yoda, no, yoda does dooku in part two and he's still fucking like flipping and even shit. yeah even in duke yeah even in the dooku <laughs> fight he's he's like stupid fast flipping all over the place so i was thinking like the her fight scene because ahsoka in the in the clone war she is so fast in rebel she is so fast yeah she jumping all the way around i it's get like, this is live action i Bible know i know i know so what so what? Are you kidding me? Have you seen all these fighting movies right now? That the 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 fight. Look at John Wick. Look at all the the, the fast pace and that. Yeah, I'm just saying. Really, yeah, I really, <laughs> I really. No, I'm just saying. Like, look at those kind of movies. Even even the um, uh, what was it? The the movie with um, Extraction. Extraction two. Look at the fight scene. Yeah, that. true. Like, it's but, it's but very too, intense remember, and uh, fast. I thought it was gonna be like that. I I get it. It was fire. The battles from the Clone <laughs> Wars to the battles from now. If you look at it. At the same time, like look at Luke and uh, Vader, look at uh, Obi Wan and Vader. It was just it hit block block. It wasn't the fucking show off shit like from the original. Like, no, no, it. I get that, I get that. But even what, even in that, in the um, in the Kenobi series, the fight scenes between him and Darth Vader was fire. Like that, that was pretty yeah. cool. But you can tell, yes, yeah, Darth Vader is gonna be cool. slower but more powerful. But uh-huh. Ahsoka is faster than all of them. Like it, her speed in the Clone Wars and Rebels compared to the other two were stupid faster, like stupid faster. So I was thinking it was gonna be a little bit more, but nevertheless, it was great. The story's great. Um, it almost brought me to tears when I was talking about Ezra, because they talked about mm-hmm. Ezra through the whole show. And and remember when I was talking about it last week, I was like, I hope they bring they back Ezra. Ezra that's and all and that's, that's all they were talking about. So I was I was so hyped the entire <laughs> entire time. <laughs> My fiance was like, Yo, you, you so hype? I was like, I ain't sit back or nothing. I'm sitting forward. I'm listening to everything. Uh, it was actually really good, man. It was really good. I like the fact that they kind of spit about you know why Ahsoka and Sabine weren't. Um, still training together and stuff like that so it makes sense you know she's not a force wielder and she's learning the arts of um, lightsaber and trying to be a padawan it's it's gonna be tough she doesn't she doesn't wield the force so it's gonna be 
tougher tougher for her. But she's a Mandalorian does. though. She doesn't need the force. She 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 can have a jetpack. She can have her her tools on her arms and all that shit. She's a Mandalorian, bro. That and a freaking lightsaber. You're who good the, to go. Who was who was the fucking uh? I forget what it's called. Um, wasn't it Revan? Second piece? No. The Grand Mandalorian, the, the, the fucking the Jedi Mandalorian from way back then. Long fucking time ago. Or Revan, the, the whole Mandalore Jedi Wars. There was a Mandalorian Jedi too. I'm telling you. Well, I mean, look at the look at the Jedi's that all became Inquisitors as well. So you know they were all Jedi. Um, so this is the first time I'm hearing about Balin, though. Yeah, apparently he ran away. Yeah. And you ended the Clone Wars before the before the situation happened. Yeah. So that that's actually pretty cool that that they added. Not only they are they adding you know Jedi, they're adding um, different other characters that were all Jedi, of course, because most Sith lords were Jedi at one time. So that's how usually it becomes. And and the 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 younger apprentice, she's actually pretty dope. Yeah, I mean, the whole the whole the whole reason the Sith became a thing was the dark, dark Jedi. They got banished from the Jedi Order. Exactly. Went to the fucking you know the world with the actual Sith, the full blooded Sith. Show them the fucking ways and voila. Yeah, and then they went to the Sith, 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 Sith was, was a species. Yeah, because the Sith was a species. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually pretty good, man. I can't. I cannot wait. And another thing in the show, um, what's his name? The governor from L- Lothal. Yeah, man. Yeah. What Love. was his name again? Shit. Shit. I forgot his name. But I love the pic- I love the mural, bro. The mural, like the mural's the- fire, right? And the fact that they use the same. The guy that did the the governor's voice in the cartoon, he actually looked like that. That's actually pretty fucking dope. It's the same character, same voice character. Now he's playing it in live action, which is actually pretty freaking dope. I I like the fact that they did that on a few characters. They did it with Thrawn. They did it with him. I'm hoping they do it with others. Because uh, governor is AZ. Is AD? Because Ezra definitely doesn't sound the same. <laughs> definitely doesn't sound the same. Well, of course not. So uh, well, he's older too. So. To be honest, I don't even know who's who's playing Ezra. So that's gonna be pretty dope. It's you, Papa. It's you. It's gonna be me. Ah, oh, I've yeah. won. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually pretty dope, man. Um, the fact that I was I was on the gate, remember with 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 Hera, but she just needs a little bit more accent, just a little accent, small. But, uh, but it's 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 worth it. I'm, I can't wait to to see Zeb. I'm pretty, sure, I'm pretty sure her husband's open one Kenobi is probably getting yelled at. No, that's how she sounds. <laughs> well, <laughs> she has a slight accent. She doesn't have a thick accent like her family. She has a slight accent on some I of the words she say. Like, yeah. Wouldn't authorize it. I'm a general. I'm yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> yep. Um, well, Chopper looked at freaking dope. I can't wait to actually see more of him as well. That was actually Chopper pretty made dope. Me happy. Yeah. Made me so happy. Right, <laughs> it did to me too. And then, um, who else? I can't wait to. I mean, they, you know they're gonna bring they're gonna bring Zeb out. Zeb is gonna come in one of these episodes. It's gonna be pretty fucking cool. I Zeb was it. there for uh, Mandalorian. Remember? He was in there, yeah, a little, a, a little, <laughs> a small little part in Mandalorian. And I, a lot of people awesome. didn't even notice like, who, who it was. To be honest, I was like, how do you not notice who he's talking to? It's Dave Seriously, Filoni back there, you see his hat. <laughs> Seriously, that was freaking dope as hell, man. I, 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 I to be honest, there. yesterday, uh, and it, we saw it. We started it at nine twenty around there because we had to wait till nine o'clock. But um, we saw it literally right after the second episode. We went to sleep because it was already eleven thirty. I was like, "Holy shit!" Time flew when you when you're enjoying something. I was like, "Damn it!" Now I gotta wait. It's gonna be episode one episode per when week the, now. When does three come out? Wednesday. Every Wednesday. Cause every Wednesday, every Wednesday, yeah, yeah every Wednesday, the, the um, it's gonna be coming out. So I cannot wait. It's gonna be freaking dope as hell, right? Apparently, there's yeah, Easter. Though, it comes to me right after our podcast, and we got to watch it exactly at midnight. Apparently, <laughs> there's e- there's um there's Easter eggs about Darth Maul. So I want to see what that's about because literally at at this moment he should be dead. Yeah, because, because this is open, after Rebels. So in Rebels, he died. So this is after. So he needs to be. He should be dead. So apparently, there's some Easter eggs about him. I definitely want to see that and see how that's gonna um, go about. But it looks amazing. You gotta look, the story. You gotta look into that because there's gonna be Easter eggs. That means there's probably be some. Remember, you're gonna get a lot of flashbacks. Yeah, I can't wait for those. Actually, I'm looking forward to those because 
And I'm hoping that they it's going to be some Anakin involved in there in the flashbacks because I know she mentioned him a few times that she walked away from him and stuff like I hope that. I we get a live action version of that training we saw. That would be fucking dope as hell, right? From from Jedi Tales? Yeah. That would be crazy, uh-huh. dude. At least a live action. I don't care if it's they, younger or soccer To or be not, honest, but I just got to see it. They have to show some part of where, when did she get her, um, when did she become a master, right? Because, yes, yeah, she... I don't think she's te- technically, in all technicality, as good as that sounds, don't get me wrong. Yeah. Yeah, she everybody calls her master. But Well, only there's only no it's only one that, that calls a master. That's um uh, that's Sabine. Yeah, of course. But, but she never finished her training, so master yeah. She in order for her to get her mastership, she actually has to do well, she has to do she, I don't even think she got her night trials. Well, that's what I'm saying. Remember, look what happened to Kanan. He didn't he he, he didn't, didn't finish his training either. Remember, he became a Jedi Knight, a Jedi Master because in the Jedi Temple that was his um his uh, his path remember his path that he had to fight mm-hmm. the the Jedi Knights so he mm-hmm. became a Jedi Master I mean, and that's why he be, he, he became, fought the Sentinels exactly the, and then he started the um, Temple Guard he started training um, Ezra even better which so maybe she something like that happened to her that, right huh the Grand Inquisitor yeah uh the temp- it was, it was a Temple Guard which makes me wonder like the lore behind that because you're not taking Cali though in Order sixty six none of the Temple Guards happened to beat her. What the fuck happened? Yep. yep. Because the Temple Guard would have clapped cheeks. I don't care who it is. That's a I'm fact. Sorry, Anakin That's guys, a fact. Nah, Anakin nah. Guys nah. Cheeks clapped. Nah. No, he would have fought valiantly. Don't get me wrong, but those Temple Guards. Well, at that time, remember, best. at that time, they, he would have still passed as a Jedi, and then he would have just killed them. And he would just kill them. But they would have. They would have sensed the darkness because of why the fuck would you have the Bible first coming into the temple? They don't belong there. Now come on. <laughs> uh, that's true. That's true. But I'm pretty sure Papatine already has sent them off and everything, so. Yeah, somehow, some way, Temple Guard. Did yeah, that. he I definitely think, did that. I think, in my my opinion, in my you no know, head canon, Papatine already manipulated the the Grand Inquisitor. Like, all right, I want you to kill all your buddies before the big before they notice. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Ah, a hundred percent, bro. A hundred percent. The fact that um, they had um, they have to show more of um, Hera and her family as well. Are they alive? I know there were some people from her father's planet that were still survived. What, wasn't Rebels. there in the Clone Wars? You get, we, we, we get to see, in Clone Wars, you get to see a young hair. There's an episode. In yeah, the young, yeah, it's actually two episodes where um, yeah. um, Ahsoka and her meet when, when she was a kid. Uh-huh. And, she's, and she's telling Ahsoka that she wants to be the, the, best, to? the best pilot in the planet, in the galaxy. And she deadass becomes the best pilot in the galaxy. Uh, no, 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 who else? Nah, Who else? Annie. You can't Annie say well. You can't say Annie anymore because at, at this moment it's not Annie no more. It's it's Darth Vader. And to be honest, you look at the rebels and you look at how many times Hera like destroyed fucking cruisers and got away. She destroyed a lot of things. All right. All so you compare like, the Chop, you compare Chopper the two. Has the most kills out of everybody. Right? That's a fact, bro. <laughs> Chopper is gangster. <laughs> Chopper and R two man, they right there, boy. Chopping R2, they right there. Seriously. <laughs> like Chopper literally committed genocide, bro. I, you saw the Phantom. <laughs> that was fire. I saw the Phantom. Um, What else? What else? I saw... Cut, th- th- when, she, when she cut her hair, when Sabine cut her hair, though, like, there it is. That's what... Yo, and even my fiance, she even cast said it. She said... She was like, oh, now she looks like Sabine. Like, she really looks like her. It's actually pretty dope. And I was wondering, I was like, why don't she got her, like, her armor? Already, where's so her bad. armor and her jetpack? And they have to go into the fact on how did she lose the um, the, the dark the saber? Because at the yeah, end of Rebels, yeah, she I, was I, holding it because she offered it to to Bo-Katan. Bo-Katan said, "No, you lead everybody." So it has to be somewhere. It has to be in that in that particular. Maybe she gave it up to be a Jedi, right? And and then Bo Katan I mean, took it. still use that saber though, because it still counts as a saber. Well, maybe I don't know. They ha- they, that's what I'm saying. The they have to. They have to the explain that part. Jedi, I was telling you. Yeah. They have to explain that part. Yeah. Yeah. No, she. I mean, and I really hope. She does become. The that they were talking about the, the Mandalorian Wars. If they actually did the Mandalorian Wars, I'd be happy. I mean, they got a few a few things coming out. <laughs> so that's actually going to be pretty freaking dope. And they um. Yeah, but they I, did, you saw that Zack Snyder trying Wars. to get into that type of world as well. Who the fuck will be Revan? I want to know. Like, everybody keeps saying Keanu Reeves. I'm like, I don't know, Papa. Oh, I wish. 
That would be a great way to, to bring him in there as a wow, villain. Wow, that actually worked? I can't believe I did that. What? That's awesome. As a villain, that's going to be pretty freaking dope. Well, he's a good guy and a villain. Remember? Well, yeah. yeah, he starts off as a good guy, but it's just like another Anakin, so that's going to be dope. It's going to be dope. No, but so, he comes back to the light. Remember, he comes back to the light twice. Yeah, you got, um, uh, you got Zack Snyder trying to get into that kind of a world of the Star Wars. I, I, don't, want, I, I don't want Zack Snyder. I'm no. Sorry, you ruined Justice League. You I, ruined well, Justice League. Actually, I mean, it wasn't him. You know, his his version was much better, but it was still... They, remember, he's he's still the cool. director. He's not the 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 writer. You know, whoever wrote yeah. the scripts are horrible at it. It's to, it's the producers that fucking suck. Well, I mean, remember the producers is basically money people, bro. It's not when it comes to producers, those are the money people. Those are the people that invest and maybe have a little saying in it, but the, they don't control the writers. The director don't control the writers. It's the it's the um the the studio. So and that's why they fired their CEO and got. James Gunn. So now James Gunn needs to. I don't know if he fired or hit all those writers and and got some new ones, but that's basically what you got to do, bro. Seriously, clean slate, start your uh, own you, shit. How about you go? How about you go in there and show them how it's done, Theo? Uh, We're nerdy enough. Uh, unfortunately, I can't write no scripts, but <laughs> uh, got imagination. Script, it'll you? be horrible. <laughs> it'll be horrible. It definitely be horrible. But he is what making. Happened? It's just a nonstop fight the whole movie. <laughs> nah, seriously, seriously. No <laughs> I mean. I'm telling you, like it. I, I, I like the way everything kicked off on uh, on Ahsoka. You know the way she, the way she unlocked the the map and everything, and and just hearing Morgan talk about the um uh, Daphimir Night and the Night Sisters. That was actually was pretty like, freaking ooh. dope because remember, they're trying to bring everything to life, right? They're starting with rebels, <laughs> but they're gonna work their way up. They're gonna work their way up to Jedi Survivor. Um, they gotta work their way up to who's the other one? Well, I said Jedi Survivor, right? So that's um that's the game, mm-hmm. right? I'm really hoping they make the Young Luke show. Like I want to see Grandmaster Luke in action. That would be crazy. That would be crazy. He'd be OP. He'd definitely yeah, be Grandmaster OP. Grandmaster Luke was stupid powerful because as he traveled the fucking uh, galaxies in search of all the Jedi texts, he read everything that he could. Mm-hmm. The comics, some of the books. That man learned everything from almost every Jedi Master, almost every holocron. You know what I mean? That's so dope. That's so dope. That'd be crazy. I mean, at the time where he took, at the time where he took, um, um, uh, Grogu, that's his pride, man. You seen what he did to the dark troopers and all that shit? He destroyed them, bro. Like it was nothing. Like it was nothing. Like they were paperweights, bro. How powerful you gotta be? There's no way that he did not touch into the dark side a little bit, dude. That part where he he just crushes them with his fist on um, Mandalor, like when he's facing off with the dark troopers. Remember that? Yeah, that was insane. That was insane. All right. I'm gonna get into a, a trailer of Rebel Moon, which is um, um, Zack Snyder's version, uh, where he's trying to get into kind of like that Star Wars type vibe. Um, looks pretty good. Let's watch it together. We're going to Greece. Oh yeah. One, two, three, four. We've been taught that the birthplace of the human race is Earth, but it's not. Ned Stark, I hear that voice. Do you know what this will do to people when they find out the truth? I don't think that most people would want to know the truth. I do. Your planet was seeded by a brass axe industry roughly 100,000 years ago. It's one of the most powerful dynasties in the universe. A nice fat made trailer right there. That looks dope. That was pretty freaking cool. 
Oh man. All right, one more. Is the Peter Jackson Lightning Thief? The stories that I have told you. Kind of like a teaser. About great God. Not sure if it's gonna be a show life. or a movie, so. They are real. Percy Jackson, we've been expecting you. Ah, oh, this year. Hey. Ah, series. Okay. Not too shabby. That was actually pretty cool. I'm not mad at it. So watch Ahsoka 1 and 2. All right. Come back to us on Wednesday. We'll talk about it. Uh, Tuesday will be episode 3. So let's get it. We're going to get into some gaming. I'll be right back, guys. Love you. Peace.